Welcome to Flavorful Eats. I am your host, Hamsha Naidu. Joining me today is Claude Mikkel. Everybody is very familiar. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Bonjour. And then we have Brenda Gowing. Hello. These are my two cooks. Yes. Doing very good, wintry, comfy foods for today. And then we have Mike Gowing on my left. Good evening. And then we have Mum Cal. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, sir, Bob. Very nice to have you all today. So we're having, I'll leave you to start with your um, corn chowder. Yes. So and then we're doing a lovely salad. Yes. And then we're doing latkes. Latkes. Yes. So holidays. Holidays. Cold weather. Mm -hmm. Hurry. Hard. So instead of doing something fancy today, we're doing something that you can set and forget and it's, it turns out lovely. And clean up is a breeze. And clean up is a breeze. Now, what am I doing? This is a crock pot liner, um, or if I was being politically correct, slow cooker liner, because you're not Jeez. crock pot is a brand, so mm -hmm. shame on me. Um, and you put it in the crock pot. It doesn't harm the flavor, it doesn't make weird things happen, and mm -hmm. it just means you get to clean up. Okay, a quick, quick thing on crock pot. Yes. It's a slow cooker. Slow cooker. So it comes in different varieties. Yes. The instant pot is now the new. Right. Raise and it has a slow cooking process too. So one can use just about any Anything that slow cooks cooking. Slowly. Yes. Hence, slow cooker. Put it in the morning and forget about and it. And forget about it. So you can be ambitious mm -hmm. and you could cook corn mm -hmm. and right. get fresh. Who has time for that in December? So this is frozen roasted corn. Mm -hmm. So I've got about eight ounces of that in. Easy peasy. And then this is another eight ounces. Another eight ounces of a sweeter mm -hmm. corn. Because as my good French chef friend Claude knows, the more you layer flavor, mm -hmm. the better the flavor, right? That's right. Right. So I'm just mixing that up. I could be use a spoon, but um, my hands are washed, so there. Now, when I went shopping, my husband um, said, why'd you get a turnip? And I said, I didn't get a turnip, it's parsnip. So why parsnip though? Oftentimes, my bad. My bad. Oftentimes in corn chowders, you put some root vegetables mm -hmm. in, and oftentimes it's carrots. Right. But I think parsnips have kind of a sweeter, denser taste, and they're interesting. And it keeps the white color. And it keeps the white going. So. People are afraid of parsnips because how do you cut this thing? Now I've peeled it. Peeling is easy peasy. Boom, boom, boom. That's probably the hardest thing I'm doing on this recipe. And what I try to do is keep my portions. I'm not a measuring cook, as you know. I am an eyeball cook. Are you a measuring cook or an eyeball cook? You look at things, you know, right? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes Most of the time I don't. Most of the time I don't either. So what I'm doing is Season making... Seasoned cooks don't. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Use your eyes. Yeah, and, and your nose. Yes, and what I'm telling you, the flavorful community, I guess, mm -hmm. is don't be afraid. It doesn't have to be perfect. Homemade mm -hmm. is supposed to have some texture, right? Yes. So, and then what do you do on the big nub part? And I'm not going to use all of it just for time. What I do is I cut it in half, and then I cut it like this. So I'm still preserving the bite size thing. And it's not hard at all. See how easy that is? And it's pretty. You just it, have a good sharp knife. Yeah, you just need a knife. Stir and don't in. don't include any fingers or thumbs. No the, fingers or thumbs. Cover. Now, I use these cute little white. I think the other hardest thing about this holiday, winter, slow cooking fiesta is I'm using different kinds of potatoes. I have three different potatoes. If you're busy and mm -hmm. you don't have three potatoes, use yes, one, one potato. potato. Yes. It's fine. But and now you have all this colorful potato. And more purple is also good for the brain, too. Yes. Use so potatoes. see how pretty mm -hmm. these are golden potatoes, like golden corn. And, and they're yeah. flavorful. And they are it's very so flavorful. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just going to chop those to a little bit of a bite size, too. And through the magic of television, I already chopped, so we got some more. <laughs> so. So this is all in all about a cup of root vegetables, mm -hmm. you know, cup of frozen corn, cup of other frozen corn. How easy is that? Done. All done. All done. 
not quite. So the next thing you do is to set and forget um, is to cover what you have with just plain water. And you're using about two cups of water. And I'm using about two cups. Again, I'm eyeballing it mm -hmm. to make sure, you know, basically. Just to cover it, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. because the thinner the broth, you know, the thinner the soup, the thicker. You're going to do it to taste. About two cups works for me. And then the, and the potatoes yeah. also starch. So yeah, so they need too. to cook. Now, the hardest thing in this whole shebang with any kind of slow cooking mm -hmm. is most people say it's so bland. It's oh, so yes. mushy. Yes. It's yuck. Yes. So what do you do? <laughs> it is, mom. Mom taught me that technical term. It, yes. it is a technical right? term. <laughs> so what you have to do is heavily season at all three. I agree. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. because it's cooking a long time. Yes. So I like herb de Provence, which um, in de this Provence. case With has oregano <laughs> and thyme and basil. It also has lavender flowers, mm -hmm. so it has a nice Maybe little taste there. Maybe she could put a glass of wine in there. Are you telling me I need wine to do oh, this? Oh, yes. So Mike, could you do um, Brenda the, the honors of serving us some wine? So I'm getting a, you see, some people would go, oh my gosh, that's a lot of seasoning. That's not a lot of seasoning. You know, sometimes you can think, Oh, it's about a quarter tablespoon an hour. If it's four quart hours, you're going to use about a mm. tablespoon. You know, you can oh, use that kind of a ratio. This is a salt shaker I've never used before. Am I doing it correctly? I, I, no, you, 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 there's a lid. There's a lid. I'm not doing it correctly. Oop. Okay. Well, yeah, that works. So, you know, salt to taste. I'm going to give my able assistant the pepper <laughs> to take care of that since I did the salt so great. Um, this is secret ingredient in honor of Hamsha. This is turmeric. Turmeric, also Tumeric. known as turmeric. Turmeric. But um, it's a healthy, earthy flavor to add in, and it's countering some of the sweetness. Oh, here we have some beautiful ground pepper, and it goes. You want to hold on? Sure. Yeah. Well, we want again. Don't be afraid to season in the long run. Here is the crazy ingredient. I pour in a little bit of maple syrup. This is about, I overpoured it, a, a tablespoon. So there we go. And I'm just stirring it in. Now, I've got a little bit of onion. Um, again, that's to taste, and it's cut in a way to flavor. Um, not much, just enough to add a little zing. And then, I'm going to put the slow cooker on, and I am going to put it on. I can't read very well here. Hi. Oh, this comes digital Hi. too. Hi, yeah. And I'm going to do it for four, four hours. hours. Okay. What? Down, four down. Hours? And then it's going to go into warm. Now, do, 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 do. we're going to pretend it's hour four, or I've come home from a busy day of shopping. Or traveling with mom, right, mom? Right, right. We travel. So then, what do I do after things have gotten calm? You know, you're going to find this is the test. Your potato should be mushy, mm -hmm. not overcooked mushy, like but mushy. like you can put a fork mm -hmm. in it very easily. And once it gets to that point, that tells you you're ready for the cream. Okay, but don't have a cream right now. Do you have it in the end when it's cooked? In four hours? Yes. We're pretending it's four oh, okay. hours later. Oh, okay. If we and, and the reason is, and I've made this mistake before. Cream, you don't want it to curdle. Right. So you tend to end it at the end on a low setting. Brenda? Yes. What type of cream is it? Is it light cream? Is it's, it you can use that? any kind of cream. You can use an you know, organic um, you can use almond cream, coconut cream, any kind of cream. What do you want to know? Is whipping cream half and half? It's half and half. This particular one is half and half. So we're just going to let this cook, mm -hmm. and it'll be ready when we're ready, and okay. we'll serve it up accordingly. All right, we'll be right back. So we are making a lovely chestnut salad. Okay. You are making a I lovely one. chestnut salad. So I well, started off by boiling some chestnuts because I want to show how to peel them the easy way because if you don't if you wait until they are cold you won't be able to peel them up so maybe you can start by that if you want uh -huh. 
So it's kind of hot, but you can still grab them. It's just boiled. Yeah, just boiled. It needs 15 minutes. So you took a parry knife. Yeah. And then they peel very easy this way. Yeah. That's what... Am I blocking your view? Sorry. No, no, no. Did you ever uh, I have consider... Never, I have never um, roasted chestnuts on an open range. So... <laughs> That's new. So this is boiled. So you have to, to break them some time to yes. take the inside. Yeah. No. So, I've never seen a chestnut looking like that. These look so like very good I've seen them looking like that. I'm oh, you mean after it's peeled? Unpeeled. So here you have your chestnut. I can do no, another one. Just. So. It's kind of like a turnip. So you cut the top off first. <laughs> the, yes. You cut the top off first. Yeah. So it, uh, yes. And you leave them in hot water. I, I spend know. most of my life in hot water. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. No. <laughs> so now you have them ready in yeah. a little bag, so they're snacks. So yeah. that can be just bought and chopped and eaten. As, uh, and chestnut is a very good sauce. Of Do you have a spare one that I can taste? Oh, yes. I'm sure you what? Chestnut. Oh, there's plenty. May I have one? Yeah, yeah, you can have one. Take, okay, take a one. piece of that. I just want to see what it's mm -hmm. like. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. You each get one. You each get one. Claude, that's so generous. Okay. Do you want this one? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Then yeah. you have another one Yummy. here. Here we go. There's another one, too. <clears throat> oh, that's funny. You each have one. Mm. So now we are going to do so the great thing. It's chocolatey. In a way. Aren't you they? take. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Mm. One spoon. Dijon mustard. One spoon and a half of uh, Dijon mustard, mm. salt, of course. So you're making the dressing? Yes, that's the dressing. Mm -hmm. mm. Some salt, yeah, come on, yeah. Isn't that a good snack? Mm. Some no pepper, of course. Mm -hmm. But the chest, you know, the chest not the chest, it's a lot of work. Mm. Mm. But, you know, sometimes that's meditative, because it's kind of like knitting is, it's something that it's a repetitive <coughs> gesture that you can just relax. So you that. need the, I put the chopped garlic. I did that before, but I think everybody knows how that, that works. Do you like chestnuts, Mom? No, not anything. And the uh, shallot. What the? Uh -oh. I guess, I guess you're going to have to eat. Well, it, it may be good in a salad. So now the vinegar. What vinegar is that? That's a red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. You can use a, uh, uh, balsamic, vinegar. balsamic, but I think it's too dark yes. with that kind of chestnut. Ah, mm -hmm. right. And it's a nice colorful for the... Yeah. And just, yeah. What you doing there, Claude? He's making the dressing. I'm making the dressing. What do you got in there? I have a Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, garlic, shallot. Shallot. And, uh, and olive oil. Olive oil. And vinegar, red wine vinegar. Where's your, what's shallots? Like shallot, that's shallot. what it is. Oh. Like, so you like chop the them. Garlic, yeah. only not garlic. Shallot. Shallot, yeah. Shallot. Shallot. So that's the, the dressing. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do now before I do the salad, I'm going to put some dressing with the chestnut before. Oh, you see, you like uh, soak the chestnut. Yes. Wow. Now that's going to take away the sweetness. Yeah. It's going to really balance out. Balance. Mm -hmm. That would be the snack. Now so I need to give one back to taste it. I yeah. didn't show that before, but this is the shallot, you know. I, I cut them in parts. Can you give me a fork? Mm -hmm. Chestnut stuffing. That's true, Claude. It's usually chestnut stuffing. You hear about chestnut stuffing. But oh, chestnut yeah. Oh, yeah. We, that's why nice. we do that in uh, where I come from. The, we use uh, chestnut to stuff the, the, the turkey. I'm going to see if you like that one, Mom. So I'm going to get some nice red leaves. Do you like that a lot, Mom? Yeah. So that's It's my dish. favorite uh, salad. Your what? favorite salad? Yeah. Oh, yes. So you can eat it in small pieces. Mm -hmm. 
So what we forgot to show is a really beautiful yeah, yeah, that's a it. bunch of little... I was bags. lucky to get that one because you don't see that often with that yes, color. That. So now I'm going to do the salad, mix everything. So, we, we, so far we made our little dressing. That's the dressing, yeah. And then we uh, marinated the dressing. With, with the, the dressing, chestnut, the chestnuts with the dressing. Which is very sounding very yummy. Yeah. This is very tasty, right? Yes, very tasty. You like the dressing a lot. And now we Mom, chop Mom it off the, the dressing. You want to grab the bite? Cannot be too big the pieces of the. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So like a small one. So some endives. Endives, yes. Endives, yeah. So see, very uh, sparingly, not mm -hmm. too much of endives. Mm -hmm. Not too much? Why? I don't know. I saw you putting it sparingly. Yeah, asking. we need uh, everything. So some red meat. Again. So just like um, Brenda did, we yep. did different colors, different flavors, different yes. zips. She's yes. doing the same thing with radish, she's a little bit pungent. Yeah. And endives has a really interesting taste also. Yeah, I think that's the key to what makes food different at home, is if you think about sweet and savory, mm -hmm. salty and sweet. You want to have textures and flavors that complement one another. Mm -hmm. It's like when you make a sandwich. Are you yes. just going to put a slice of cheese on the sandwich, or are you going to put a slice of cheese and the lettuce and then maybe a tomato and then maybe a little onion or pickle? But think of cooking as making a very pretty sandwich. And that's uh, what I like to put in, everywhere in salad, my dish. My dish. That's beautiful. How do you pronounce it in Italian? In, 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 mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Italian. Um, I don't, a petit chou, because it's international, kind of like Grey Poupon. You say it the same way no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. I saw an opera that was written by Puccini that flew in English, even though the whole opera was in Now, Italian. if you want, you can put other things that you think of. It doesn't make any difference. Now, I'm going to put the dressing. Yummy. So you dress the chestnuts and the salad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do the, the salad first, then I put the dressing, the, the chestnut. Oh, that just sounds so, so beautiful. What do you think, Mom? I know. And okay. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to put the marinated marinated. Yes, it? marinated chestnut. Yeah. Chestnut. Staying true to its name, chestnut salad. Yeah. And you know, don't spare on the chestnut. And now mm. I always put, for flavor, fresh tarragon. Mm. Really yummy. On top of it. Beautiful. And I think that's it. You oh, see the gorgeous. chestnut salad. Chestnut salad. Look yummy. at that. That looks <laughs> gorgeous. gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Brenda, what yes. a brilliant idea. Yes. We have sweet and savory in the one dish. In one dish. And, and I promise for things to be easy mm -hmm. because we want it warm and cozy. There's one thing that's a little tiny challenging about latkes or latkes is that. So that's the next dish. That's the next dish, which is potato pancakes. Mm -hmm. But you have to cook them a certain way so mm -hmm. it's not a bunch of hash browns. Right. So that's the trick to it. Now, part of the way you make it work is I'm using large size golden potatoes and grate just them. grate them in. I grate them long ways. I don't grate them fine. And through the magic of television, I also grated sweet potato to put aside. The hardest thing about this dish is being patient. But all of us need to be a little patient mm -hmm. on the holidays, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to give this to Hamsha mm -hmm. to move away because magically we have it here, Mom. Voila. Voila. So I've got the grated potatoes. They're the golden potatoes in here draining. And that gives me time to do other things. And... Again, you're just grating it long enough so there's liquid at the end of the bowl. This is all natural liquid. There's nothing to worry about. 
I've got my sweet potato it's doing the thing. exact same thing. It's not as wet as a regular potato. And if you're concerned, you can always kind of mush. You can mush with a cloth, cheesecloth, or your fingers. But there's not going to be a lot of liquid mm -hmm. coming out of that. And that's why when you make what we call it sweet and savory, um, you, it needs help. Right. And you don't know sweet mm -hmm. unless you have a little bitter. Wouldn't you say that's you need true. to have a little of both? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. So I'm putting these aside to drain. The other thing about latkes is traditionally they're made with egg. But we're going to do this vegan style. And I found this really cute box of vegan eggs. And the reason why I like working with this is I don't have to second guess a traditional recipe. So what it says to do, and I have my bowl here, is to add, this is a soy protein. And I'm adding a tablespoon, round a tablespoon, with some very ice cold water. I even put, when it says ice cold water, I put an ice cold in it. Right. What right? I mean for the ice. So it's very cold. And then you're going to whip it until it's smooth. And this is a substitute for your eggs. What do you think, Mom? So talking about holidays, one wants to make um, holiday and sweet cookies. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, you'd make a frosting to go over that cookies at um, egg white and um, um, powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Instead of egg white, you could actually use a soy protein together with powdered sugar and a little bit of water. Yep. It'll make your thing. Because look at that. It adds the same. Now, mm -hmm. the challenge, too, with, I'm going to um, put this aside with my able assistant. The other challenge with um, this kind of cooking, lakis, is you have a lot of wet. So you want to make some things dry. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't want it to look like hash browns. So what do you do? Well, first of all, I'm adding something that's a little bit um, more fibrous, which I'm just putting a few chives and getting them ready to go. And that's going to add a little wet mom. A little zing, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little zing. I don't, we don't need the example potato anymore, so we're going to put it aside. The other thing to do is I've also, the wet, the golden, here mom, the golden potato is wetter. I've also grated in some traditional Idaho baked potato. Oh, okay. Just to give it a little more richness. So that's, that's kind of the blend. And all of this is on the recipe that we share. Yeah. So first things first, I'm going to make my first savory latkes. Now, down here in this bowl, I've got the liquid. You know what that liquid is, Ma? It's potato juice or potato starch. Now I'm just going to add a little bit to my carrot pile, just enough so I can Your mix. Your sweet potato pile. My sweet potato pile. That looks like carrots, yes. but it is sweet potatoes. We have problems with vegetables in my family. My husband calls parsnips turnips, <laughs> and I'm calling sweet potatoes carrots, but there you go. So I'm adding, the, the proportion I use is one potato, two potato, no, um, about two potatoes per one person, two small potatoes, and I use one large sweet potato per person. That's the proportions that we're going to use on these lockies. You notice I'm putting some of the regular mm -hmm. potato in for the sweet potato, and the rest of it's going in here. Here you go, doctor. Off mm -hmm. it goes. This can go off. So I'm blending this, and guess what? Potato starch is going to be my glue. Now, here is the secret. You know what this is? Look at this. This is gluten-free pancake mix. All right. Because remember, part of the goal is to be easy. And instead of um, doing, you know, getting the baking powder and measuring and getting all of that done, I'm just cheating with pancakes. So one can use any flour, just as we are doing And baking powder. Right, we are doing a gluten-free meal today, so hence we're using a gluten-free right. pancake mix. Now this one is going to be our savory one, and in the honor of my dad, I, I've called this the chess style. Can I have the salt and pepper? Yes, you may. Um, thank you so much. Um, although I'm bad at it, so you can help me. I'm going to right, take off the lid, and off it goes. Just a little pepper. Usually everything is salt and pepper, so I'm following that rule. 
in honor of my dad, I call this chess lock piece because one is darker and one is lighter, so it's like a chess board. Like a chess board. So that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So the salt. Okay. And we're getting that stirred up. So it's looking dry. That still is slightly wet to me. Again, we're eyeballing, so I'm just going to add a little more of the pancake flour. Your goal is not to make pancakes and not to make hash browns, but to make something that's kind of in the middle of that. So I'm getting that nice and gloopy. That's technical. And then I'm going to throw in the chives, again, to give it some texture. These are chives? Uh, or scallions. scallions, yeah. We can Sorry. use either or. I either or. Like I said, we don't know vegetables very right well now, in my family. Right. We're, we're right calling now. them the wrong names all day. Okay. So there we go. Get something nice and you're going that, that looks goopy. What are we going to do? We're going to drink wine now. If you hold this. So here's the other secret. I'm going to make two kinds of latkes here. And latkes are cooking in oil. That's traditional. Every now and then mm -hmm. it's like fried chicken, or which I'm not going to mention here, or mm -hmm. certain <laughs> foods are fried, and that's the tradition. So we're going to put this on very high. And I've got two kinds of oil here. I'm going to cook the savory in garlic oil. Oh. And I'm going to give this a minute for the pan to get hot. And we know oil is ready, and this is a magic oven. Yeah. Induction stove. Induction yes. stove. So it cooks very quickly. It heats a lot faster than other stoves. But you know the oil is ready. Can you smell that? You can smell it, and there's a bit of a shimmer. You can see that's already getting golden. Yeah. Now I've preheated the oven to 200. This is just to keep things warm. Because again, the whole idea of this is it seems really hard, but it's kind of easy. You just, it, it's fun. This, you drink your wine. Mom, drink your wine. Traditionally, the way that you measure this out, again, simple, simple, is you take two spoons and you put it together and you put it in the pan. Mm. Two spoons, put it together. Oh, put that's it in simple. The pan. Two spoons. What are we doing, Mom? Put it together. Yeah, <laughs> that was a dud, but that was my fault. One more. Put it together in the pan. And it's about three minutes on either side traditionally. I'm going to keep an eye on these. Mm -hmm. You want them to be brown and crispy. Now the second one, I'm doing a tiny little bit here, is going to be a sweeter version. Because the sweet potatoes don't quite drain as much, it's already a little wetter so I don't need as much starch. I am going to put in the pancake batter, and I am going to add some ground cinnamon oh. to give it a little bit of a sweetness. Yes, cinnamon is very good to bring out the sweet, and a pinch of salt too, actually. It's it, and boom. I think it's a type a of... Stick. There we go. And also it's the type of um, utensil, I think. You like a different utensil for flipping? Well, for this particular pan, yes. Yeah. But, but this, this is a non-stick pan. They're nice. Dark. What do you think, Mom? Does that look like Grammy? Does it? Yes. So the difference between traditional lakis, which we have here, and the sweet lakis, which we are making, is one is baked and one is fried. And what I'm doing here is I've mixed the sweet potato with the white russet with the pancake mix with the vegan egg. vegan egg, which is a very important ingredient. Some cinnamon. I've added in cinnamon. And then what I've done is I've lined some mm -hmm. cupcake tins with And if you have lined this, it's better. But if you don't, it's this work too. This is fine. And then I'm just going to scoop it in. It's Yes, that's what you're basically doing a nest. I'm making a little nest of sweet potato pies, basically. <laughs> that's a new name for yourself? Little nested sweet potato pies. Who knew you could have a southern 
dish that went lucky. Good. So we're going to let this bake. 375. Claude, we're doing a nice pomegranate fresh cream. Okay. Heavy whipping cream. You need to use heavy cream, but the one that you see in a store, not the, the one on the first shelf, but on the top, that, that size. Ah. Because that, pickups. even with the whip, it'll take a few minutes. If you yes. have the other one, you have a rough time to make it. Uh, oh, you mean the more the better yeah. for quick. So you have to use that one that you see everywhere in every store. So that's uh, about uh, half a pint. When you see the, the cream on the, you know, whatever mm. you, the names are, you look on the top and you see those. The bigger one. This is delicious cream. Yeah. Um, I'm doing it the old way. Everybody mm -hmm. has machine, but I don't. <laughs> oh my word, okay. That won't take long. I'd love to see you doing a mousse. Yeah, that's how we do the chocolate mousse. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to be doing a chocolate, vegetarian chocolate mousse. Oh, I don't know. How to, you have to explain yes, to me how to do it. Yes, we will do that together. So you add the sugar only halfway at the down? End, at the end. At the end. At the end. You could add at the beginning. So you add in regular sugar, just yeah, granulated yeah, sugar, yeah. not the powdered sugar. Or? Uh, those spoon, oh, at least uh, seven, eight. You see, already yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. You see, already start to. Yes, chicken. So it's just the air that makes the clean chicken. Yes, it's just the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I noticed you can teach people how to beat the cream, but it's, you cannot teach people how to make it large. Yes, you know, you that can is teach true. the way to do it, but there is a certain way to finish it, and that's difficult to, to explain. Can I try? I have the. You want to try? Yeah, you make it eight, number eight. You're going to go eight. No, 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 no. No? Like a pencil. Oh, like a pencil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Wow. You want to see one no, more time? No. You, see, yeah. you hold it like a pencil. Yeah. And then you keep going. You make eight. Okay. No, I don't yeah, think I, didn't I can I'm do glad that. you asked. Yes, yes, you can do that. I didn't that. realize that's that? what I was doing. Yes. Try and you'll see. You'll make it. I, I think I heard it. No, no. Wow. And I've been... Mm -hmm. okay. So it's, it's almost done now. Yeah, so I'm going to finish beautiful. it now. And this is when you add the sugar in? Yeah. You don't want to have butter, right? No, 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 but... Okay, now I have uh, sugar. It's a small spoon, so I won't need to put seven. No, you just need to put, yeah. You want four? I think five, maybe, maximum. Okay. I listen to you. Because you don't want it too sweet. No, I no, no, no. I don't think anybody here has got a very sweet tooth. Oh, that looks yummy. That should be just fine. Fresh yes. cream would be always yummy. Yeah. I think I too okay. And just a little bit, right? Or maybe more, if you, you know, make it... Yeah, that should sound good. No, I... That looks good. Okay. okay. It's been a pleasure having you all together. And thank you to you too. Yes, thank you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you for watching Physical Eats. Always available at actingtv.org or on YouTube. And I'm your host, Anshanaidu. So we meet again. Happy holidays.